Super Go Eagles. What can I say, man? Like, like, truly, what can I say? This is the typical Eagles. Typical freaking Eagles. <laughs> this is the one way to put it, man. The, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, this team for years, over over two, two decades, has truly been a thorn in our side. They truly have been. This didn't start recently. It, it did not start recently. You go back to last game at Veterans Stadium, uh, NFC Championship game when this team, people say, oh, the Buccaneers won't come into Philadelphia. They're, they're, they're a warm weather team. They won't come into the Philadelphia deal with the cold weather elements and beat the Eagles in Philadelphia in the NFC Championship game. <laughs> I remember 2015, Chip Kelly's last year, <laughs> when Jam Jameis Winston just absolutely went to town on us. I remember, oh, uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick just absolutely dominating us um, when he was a member of the Buccaneers. This team, they own us. I know we always talk about how Seattle owns us, which they do, but the Buccaneers also have our number. Tom Brady absolutely owned us when he was with the Buccaneers. Baker Mayfield, 2-0 and against us with the Buccaneers. I can't... I, Two on one, excuse me. We, we did beat them once last, um, but yeah, Th this Buccaneers team, man, they they just have our number. I don't understand it. I truly don't. Like I'm not even really that mad about this. Uh, I'm I'm disappointed because this Eagles team came out and beat the um, Saints, that high power Saints offense, they held in the 12 points, and then we come into this game riding high and just absolutely lay an egg like that. It's embarrassing. And yes, I know, no Lane Johnson, um, no um, Devontae Smith, no A.J. Brown, but you gotta, put, you gotta put up a better effort than that. Jalen Hurts, you are the $51 million man for a reason. You gotta be better. I got a lot to say about Jalen Hurts, which I will. But this defense, man, it's typical Eagles. They show up to play and beat a team that they're not expected to beat. A team that's red hot like the Saints. And then the following week, they come out here and play like crap. Complete crap. Missing tackles. That miss, just, the, miss, the missed tackles were just awful. Godwin, Evans, just absolutely make it look easy. We made Baker Mayfield... Look like Tom Brady out there today. Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield. We did the same thing in the wild card playoff game um, back in um, January. Baker Mayfield just goes out there and make it look easy against our defense. You know, when the schedule came out, I was thinking to myself, man, the NFL. They, they must really hate us giving us a bye week this early. But now with the injuries already piling up this early in the season, I'm actually glad we have a bye week because we need A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, hell, Britton Kobe, which he'll probably still be out for a while, but Lane Johnson, we need those guys back. I am so grateful that there is no football for the Eagles next Sunday. I am so grateful I can go a weekend without without. You know, um, being my, without having my day, um, no, um, ruining my day with the Eagles. I I'm so glad that next Sunday I could just sit back and watch all the other teams play, and I don't have to have my weekend, my week ruined by the Eagles. But like I said, um, we, 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 we got we to be better than this. Jalen Hurts, you make $51 million a year. Next man up. Great elite quarterbacks, they elevate the players around them. And Jalen Hurts has, has yet to show that he could do that. He has yet to show that he could be a very good quarterback, even when uh, A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, those guys are not out there. <sighs> I 
the game started off as a complete nightmare. Complete nightmare. The Buccaneers offense goes up 24 to nothing. Then the Eagles offense gets some life into them. You know, we get a touchdown on the board, 24 to 7. We had a chance to score again at the end of the um, first half, but we did not score. But we're going to halftime 24-7. We come back out. Humongous run by um, humongous run by Saquon Barkley sets us up for a game. Um, excuse me, sets us up for a touchdown. Now the, the Eagles are down um, at this point. Um, 20 uh, um, 24 to um to, to uh, 14. Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense goes right back down the field and score. But on the extra point, the Eagles block the uh, extra point and they return it for a uh, for two points. You think to yourself, okay, well here we go. The Eagles are showing some heart here now. Maybe there's a chance. I still was not getting my hopes up at this point. But I'm like, okay, who knows? Maybe they're starting to play some heart now. Who knows? Nope. That was it. That you no, know, that was the last points the Eagles were scoring this game. The score now is um, it's now thirty to um, yeah, thirty to sixteen. Eagles offensive line was just atrocious. Jalen Hurts was just getting hit left and right. You know, uh, he fumbled the ball uh, once this game, almost fumbled it for a second time. It, it just it just completely went downhill. Eagles lose to the Buccaneers, 33 to 16. <sighs> Boy, now the Eagles are two and two going to the bye week, so right at 500. But it, it has to be said, Eagle fans, it has to be said. I want Jalen Hurst to, I want him to succeed. I, no, I want. I don't care who the Eagles quarterback is. I want to win. And right now it's Jalen Hurts. I want Jalen Hurts to succeed. I'm not coming on here just to just to bash Jalen Hurts and and you know just just, just to do it. Um, decision making is, is is bad. Uh, reading de you know reading defense is bad. Holding on to the ball is a big problem for him. You no, know, um, you know, holding on to the ball for too long is a big problem for him. Turnovers continue to be a big problem for him. Like, you have to be honest with yourself as an Eagles fan. You have to be honest. We we have to look at the possibility that we we may need to, we may need to get a new quarterback next year. That's what that's the honest. Just me being honest. I'm not gonna come on here and sugarcoat anything to you guys. Just being honest. I I, I don't know Jalen Hurts. I, I I don't know Jalen Hurts can be that guy. I honestly don't. I don't know if this regression, because make no mistake about it, he has regressed, truly regressed since getting that, you know, getting paid at the Super Bowl Fifty Seven. He's regressed. I don't know if um, that regression can be, um, if if it could be stopped. But one thing I know for sure, Nick Sirianni is not the guy. If, if that if that regression is going to be stopped. What I'm seeing right here, it's clear that Nick Sirianni has lost a lot. He, he's lost these players. He's lost his locker room. And he is not the guy to lead this team in the future. He's just not. I don't know when uh, Mr. Lurie is going to pull the plug and, and move on from um, Nick Sirianni. I have no clue. But from what I'm seeing right now, the Eagles need to make a change in coach. We need somebody in here that can truly try, you know, that can truly... Uh, coach um, Jalen Hurts up and fits these flaws of Jalen Hurts because like it or not right now with that contract that he has You know right now. We're in a tough situation with him. I Still want I still want to be hopeful that we're right with the right coaching that we could turn things around with Jalen Hurts But what I'm seeing right now. He has truly truly regressed from um, from his you know his 2022 uh, play he has Vic Vangel, what the hell happened? How does this defense show up to play against an offense that gave up 91 points? Excuse me, an offense that put up 91 points in their first two games. They only give them 12 points. They, they only give up 12 points to them. But then you come back and you allow Baker Mayfield and the Buccaneers offense to put up 33 points on you. Make it make sense. What is going on? How the hell... 
do y'all show up so prepared to play against the Saints, and then this week you just crap the bed? Make it make sense. The missed tackles, just God awful. God awful. The coverage in the secondary, God awful. The defensive line, getting the pressure, God awful. Just awful. Awful. No other way to put it. Boy, I pray, I, I pray to God that AJ Brown and Devontae Smith are ready to go um following the bye week. Oh, I just I pray, I absolutely pray that these guys are ready to go following the bye week because it's quite clear how much our offense is just not the same without them. It, it, it's so obvious, you know, the flow of this offense is just not the same without them. Jalen Hurts is no Patrick Mahomes. He's no Tom Brady. He's not one of those guys that can make average to mediocre players, you know, he can elevate them, elevate their, elevate their play. He's not that type of quarterback. We know that for a fact. You no, know, um, Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes, they won Super Bowls with a bunch of nobodies, don't no, throwing a football to a bunch of nobodies. Jalen Hurts ain't that type of guy. He's one of those type of guys where he has to have elite number one wide receivers to look good. At least at this point of his career. At this point of his career, he's just not capable of carrying a team. You pay a quarterback fifty-one million dollars a year to do that. When, no, but but Jalen Hurst just isn't. He has not shown me that he is capable of doing that. And Nick Sirianni is just not a good coach. He is an awful coach. I would love to hear the news in the you know, when I wake up in the morning or sometime later on the day. Eagles fire head coach Nick Sirianni. Do I expect that to be the case? No. But I would love to hear that. I would absolutely love to hear that the Eagles fire Nick Sirianni. CJ Garner Johnson. I like your swag. I like that you're very confident in yourself. But you have to be able to walk to walk, walk to walk. You can talk the talk all you want to, but you have to be, be able to go out there and uh, walk the walk. You know, all this, um, you know, talking before the game, but then you then you and the defense goes out there and crap the bed, that's a bad look. That is a truly a bad look. Today's defensive play was just absolutely atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. Um, Baker Mayfield was just making it look easy out there. He was just carving up this secondary and, you know, just, just making it look pure, just easy. Easy. Just the, the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, man, throughout my 20, 26 years of watching Eagles football, this team, more than, you know, more than none, you know, they truly have had our number, and it just continues. Now, we always talk about how the Seahawks own us, and they do, but the Buccaneers own us as well. I don't know what it is, but against us, they go out there and play their best football. I don't, I, 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 I don't know, how, I don't know what the what it is, but when they play the Eagles, this team comes out and plays their best football. Shout out to all the Buccaneer fans out there. There's no hate here for me. You know, you know congratulations to you guys, man. I, no, I don't have no hate here. You know, it's, it's, it, it, I'm just, I'm just disappointed in my team. Even if they didn't win the game, I expect a much better effort than what we saw today. At one point, they like they were they were getting it together after going out going down twenty four to seven, no twenty four to nothing. It, it did like they were trying to fight their way back into it, but then everything just all the all the wheels just completely fell off. And um, you know, the, the the result is what the result is. Like the old me will be on here cursed up a storm, just just absolutely furious right now, but I, I'm at the point now with this Eagle scene, I don't I don't let this team get to the point where I let them get me so so mad that it ruins the rest of my week. I will I refuse to let this Eagle scene do that anymore to me. So all the curse and all that stuff, you're not gonna get it from me. What you're gonna get from me is just pure, is pure honesty, which I'm being very honest with you guys, it's just disappointment. The offense was awful today, just complete garbage. 
Jalen Hurts has not shown that he could be a consistent quarterback. He can, he has not shown that he can, that he is an elite quarterback. He's not an elite quarterback, guys. All you diehard Jalen Hurts fans out there, you have to accept it. Jalen Hurts is not an elite quarterback. I don't want to hear all this crap about, oh, he didn't have A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, obviously Lane Johnson at tackle. I get all that. But elite quarterbacks, even when they are, are missing key players, they still put the team on their back. They're still able to go out there and be consistent at their play. Even if they lose a game, even even with the defense playing as bad as they play, an elite quarterback is still going to go out there and, um, and, and give everything he has on that field and put up a good performance in, in a losing effort. Jalen Hurst was not good today. He was not. He has not been good. Really, he has not been good since we won, since we um, lost Super Bowl 57. He had a couple okay moments, you know, like the Buffalo Bills game last season. He had, he had a couple pretty good moments during the season. But that consistent, elite play that we, that, you know, that we got from Jalen Hurst in 2022, we're not getting that anymore. Like I said, I don't know if it can, if we can get him back to that on uh, if we can get Jalen Hurts back to that level of play. I don't know, but Nick Sirianni, I know for sure, is not the guy. He is not the guy to turn this around. I've heard some Eagle fans say possibly Bill Belichick or somebody like that, which I wouldn't necessarily be against. But all I know is changes. You no, know, regardless of how the rest of this season goes. They, they, they gotta be some changes because I don't see this Eagles team going anywhere. Maybe possibly make the playoffs. I don't see them winning the division as it currently stands. Maybe possibly, um, you know, like I said, um, make the playoffs. But I don't see them doing much of anything. This team is simply not good enough to win a Super Bowl, and that is what we are. You no, know, that that's why why we you know. We worked so hard. To, um, well, High Roseman has built this team to try to win a Super Bowl right now. They're just not there. The offensive line was just absolutely atrocious. Jalen Hurst was just getting hit. I think he got sacked six or seven times in this game. Unacceptable. Unacceptable for your for your fifty one million dollar quarterback to get to get hit to get sacked six or seven times a game. That shit is unacceptable. Just terrible play by the O line. Still bad decision making by decision making by Jalen Hurts, just awful. Like I said, when I saw that schedule, when it came out, I'm like, the NFL really giving us this early but bye week. But with all these damn injuries that to key players that have built up this early in the season, the bye week can't come in sooner for me now. I really hope that that is nothing that is not foreshadowing for. What could be a long season of injuries for the Eagles? I really pray that's not the case. I really hope that you no, know, we have Devontae Smith and AJ Brown back. Um, you no, know, after the bye week, and you no, know, I really hope we had we had them back in week six. But most importantly, I hope the injuries are not going to just pile up from here on out. Like I said again, the Buccaneer fans out there, there there's no there's no hate here. Uh, congratulations to you guys on on getting your win. I'm just I'm just disappointed with my team and the and the crappy performance they put out. This defense just absolutely awful, awful. What the he, what the hell? It's it's like the something clicked for them against the Saints and then this week against the Buccaneers. All no whatever clicked for them against the, against the Saints, they just they just forgot all about that on um, what to do. There's no other way to put it. We may. We made Baker Mayfield look like Tom Brady and, and Joe Montana in their prime, um, in, in their prime today, and it was just the most pathetic crap I've ever seen. Pathetic. <sighs> Eagles going down sixteen to thirty-three to the Buccaneers. They got a bye week. I'm, I'm, I'm going to enjoy this bye week. A week of stress-free football. Just sit back and watch all these other teams play. I, I need a break from Eagles football, so that's what we're getting um, next Sunday. Hopefully these guys that are battling injuries like A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, uh, Lane Johnson, hopefully those guys are ready to go on week six. I really don't have a whole lot more to say here. I, I, I'm just disappointed. I'm, I'm getting off of here. Again, congratulations to all the Buccaneer fans.
just, just, just flat out disappointing. That's, that's really all I can say. Just flat out disappointing. I thought to myself, okay, hopefully they'll they build off of this uh, Saints win. Even though the offense didn't look all that great in that game either. Even though the coaching by Nick Sirianni was terrible in that game, we won in spite of him. We, 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 we truly won that game in spite of him. And, I, and I've said that before, I'll say it again. The coaching is just not that good. Jalen Hurst is still not making good decisions. The defense was great in that game, but then they turn around and they lay the egg in this game. It, 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 as an Eagles fan, it truly is, I, I can't put it into words enough, it truly is embarrassing, beyond embarrassing, to see this team show up to play in one week and then the next week just play like crap. They are extremely inconsistent. It's the same old crap that we got last year. And if something, don't, if, if, if something doesn't change us, um, soon, this season is going to end with the same result that it ended with last year. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. It's going to be the same result this year that it was last year. If we're, if we're even lucky to make the playoffs uh, this year. This team ain't going nowhere. Not, not like this, they're not. But anyway, let me start ranting. I'm out of here. As always, go birds. Um, hopefully, they, you know we, we see some change. Um, you know, coming, you know, going to, after the bye week, we'll see. I'm out of here. Peace. Folks.